Did you know how you talk is just important as what you say? We're going to talk about that on this episode of 5 Minutes with Dad. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Dad, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Ooh, hey! Ready for an awesome episode! Five minutes with Dad! Hey, what am I, a one stinky question. sock? Why one is there question. One thing up there. Because that, that red dot says that it's recording. No, that no, no, means no, no, no. it's. It was, oh, there's a red dot? Thing, it was, no, no, no. See your thing? It was like a red line up there. Oh, I don't know. Maybe because it maxed it out. I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah! <laughs> And just trying to max it out. But no, we have so Aww. we have a mixer that doesn't let us hurt people's ears, unlike before <gasps> when we were just plugged in the computer. I'd be like, stop, 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 stop. But this one automatically softens the voice if it gets too loud. But, but. we have an important show today because we're going to talk about what do you call something. Cows? Hey, hang on, hang on. We're going to talk about something that's really important. And we had, when Pavlos and Angela were little, we talked about something called the tone of our voices on an episode. There were itsy bitsies. And we are going to talk about that today because how you say things is just as important as what you say. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. But first, Ange, what time is it? Uh, Go ahead. That's it. Who's ready for the wristers of the week? Who's ready for the <laughs> Yes, so the resource, Ange is ready for the resource of the week, sandwich, me, and me, and Ange, we both are, so Ange is learning our little drop things, and Pavlos is, Ange is getting pretty good at pushing the buttons, so we have a live, a nine-year-old awesome live executive producer, right Ange? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, right Pavlos? Yeah. All right, unfortunately, my producer likes to eat chips and then <laughs> every, snack. <laughs> every snack so but we have right pavlos yeah <laughs> yeah all right so we are <laughs> going to talk about well, before something we, important but we right now we got the resource of the week sandwich we right that, we're just gonna say this is gonna be a quick episode Quick episode, unless Ange keeps pressing buttons, <laughs> then it's going to be a, a long episode of buttons. buttons, buttons and buttons and buttons, buttons. and buttons and buttons, right? Angela, <laughs> yeah, Angela, Angela, <laughs> Angela, oh, Angela, 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 and Nick, Nick and Pablo's Pavlidis, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you for listening? No, it's not over. Okay, no, no, so. Thank you for listening to- Angela. Yeah, thank you to listen to Angela's recording of Angela. So, we have the resource of the week sandwich. Starts with a joke of the week number one. Who wants to do the what joke do of the week? What do you call cows that eat your grass? What do a you call? Song? What do you call a cow that eats your grass? I don't know. What do you call a cow that a eats? A lawnmower. <laughs> what? What button are you looking for? And uh, uh, next time is who's ready for the resource of the week? Yes, yeah, the resource of the week. So I'll take the resource of the week. This week's resource the is a puzzle. puzzle alive. Okay, maybe I'm not going to take the resource of the week. <laughs> Angela, it's three puppies in a Christmas scene. It is. One has a bow, one has a cute little Santa hat, and one has... A different bow. Like a candy cane looking thing. Where? Oh yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah, so (laughs) three puppies and a little bit of a Christmas winter wonderland scene. With a tree in the background, popcorn lights. Yes, so sort it of. is a thousand pieces, so the whole family can play together. Three 12 months and up. And up. Oh. Manufacturer, recommended age, 12 months and up. It's a puzzle. We love doing puzzles here. Uh, so if you want to pick that up, head on over to 5 com slash puppy puzzle. That's our affiliate link to send you over to Amazon to snag that. And if you get it now, it says it can deliver it by Christmas, long before Christmas. So if you want to put that under your tree, if you're celebrating Christmas, giddy up. 
Five minutes with dad.com slash giddy up. Puppy puzzle. Slash giddy up. Yes. All right, Ange, what did you want to I say? I said three and up. Uh, um, three people, three years, three, three. Years can't. Three years old can't do it, but I meant to say three month year olds. Three month olds. Yeah. Three months old, right, Ange? Yeah. And then if they do, they can get a big round of applause <laughs> from Angela. Give me, a- Give me a round of applause. No. Drum oh, roll, drum roll, please. please. <laughs> Sir, the, the thing is. Oh, slash puppy puzzle. Oh, (laughs) five minutes of dad.com slash puppy puzzle. All right. So now dot com five minutes dad dot com <laughs> slash puppy puzzle Angela when she was little if you listen back to some episodes would say thank you for listening to five minutes with dad Angela go dot com <laughs> <laughs> no, dot com yes all right so here's my joke of the week knock knock who's there the funnel the funnel who the funnel start once you let me in oh. hey yo all right I get a round of applause. <laughs> Oh, crickets. And they're laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> they're laughing that I got the crickets. They're not laughing at my joke. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Well, so we are going to transition now. Oh, Ange likes this transition music. So let's get this transmission trans transition music. <laughs> right, Ange? We're going on to the story. The story. Mind blown. And if it's really funny sometimes, maybe we'll get <laughs> Ange laughing. Baby Ange. Baby Ange. Why'd you do baby a laugh and baby Baby A, a laugh. Baby Ange. Oh, it looks like baby A laugh. You have the best laugh, Ange. Even now. What's this? Ooh. And what's this? Oh. That's that sparkling apple cider. No, sparkling lemonade. Sparkling lemonade. All right. If you haven't tried that, you should. So let's talk a little bit. We're going to give a few examples just to share about the tone of our voice and how important it is. So did you know, Angela, that you can say something, the same words, and have it feel differently to the people who hear it? If you say it two different ways? Nope. Okay. So why don't you tell me? Okay. Ready? Here's one. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Ange, right now, we're filming close to bedtime. So, Angela is wearing a cute little Christmas pajamas thing that she's wearing, right? Mm-hmm. So, I want to tell her that I like her pajamas. So, I'm going to say nice pajamas. Okay? Rich hey, Ange, now. nice pajamas. How does that make you feel? Happy. Happy. How about this? <laughs> nice pajamas. <laughs> hey, Dad, how about this? Talk right into the mic. A little. You don't. Do you do you think I actually like your pajamas when I go nice pajamas? No. What about when I say nice pajamas? Yeah. Yeah. How about nice shirt? Thanks, Ange. Nice glasses. Thanks, Ange. <laughs> I was figuring out what to say because you have. Like, <laughs> no, but we got to say the same thing in different ways. So what if I say, "Oh, Ange." Wait, can I say something? What? Hang on. What if I say to Ange, "Great job with your homework the other day." How does that make you feel? Mm-hmm. What about I say, hey, great job with the homework the other day? Mm. Yeah, not so good. How we say what we say is just as important as what we say. So we need to do two things with our words. Number one, choose what we say. And number two, choose how we say it. Go ahead, Ange. Hey, nice Apple Watch. Thanks, Ange. I use it to tell the time. That looks awesome like to have one too sure you want this one yeah <laughs> can i actually have it well uh, when i get a new one we're gonna figure out maybe you and pavlos can uh hey. w- w- maybe pavlos will inherit this and and i think nuna has an old one that she's not using that you might be able to inherit mm. yeah mm. how about this how about hey, this nice apple watch nice apple watch yeah that doesn't hey. make me feel good nice apple watch what if you say I'd love to go for a walk with you. That feels pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what thank a- you, but no thank you. Yeah. Or what about this? Yeah, I'd love to go for a walk with you. How does that feel? 
That's like sarcasm. Yes, and that does not feel very good, does it? Um, how about this? <clears throat> nice <laughs> Apple Watch. Thanks. Wait, no, no, no. Nice gold ring. Thanks. I, I used it to did. marry your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I already did your Apple Watch. Yeah. Hey, nice ring. Oh, why? What's wrong with it? Nothing. See <laughs> how you say it. So that that changing the way we say it, changing how we say what we say is called the tone of our voice. So how about this? How about there's other ways we could change our tone of our voice. What if I say, Ange, can you come here? Yeah. Okay. What if I say, Ange, can you come here? You say, uh oh, uh oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So it's the same words said differently feels very different, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. You're telling me or you're telling the microphone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, baby Ange, that gives me a smile on my face. Or what if I Ange, can you think of an example? So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and I'm gonna tell you to say something and then I'm gonna ask you to say it with different meaning. The same words, okay? okay? Okay. So what do you want to say? How about um how about um nice hairdo. <laughs> I like that. So how about this? Okay, tell me nice hairdo and make me feel happy about my hair. Hey, nice hairdo. Thank you. Okay. Now, the opposite. Tell me nice hairdo and make me feel bad? Bad about my hair. Yeah, nice hairdo, I guess. Oh, yeah, that did not feel good. Yep. So the same words expressed differently. Now, tell me, um, hmm. what do you want to say? What do you want to say? Um, nice earbuds. Nice earbuds. Thanks. Nice earpods. Nice earpods. Yeah. Nice earpods. Now, tell me, nice earpods like you really like them. Okay. Nice earpods. Thanks. I really love them. I would wish I had a pair of my own too. <laughs> now tell me nice AirPods like I wasted a lot of money on something and you think I should I could have done better with it. Nice AirPods. Yep. Just like that. It's like it makes me feel bad about it. So But sometimes people say that because they're jealous too. That's right. Make sure you speak in the front of the mic. Okay. Um yeah, sometimes people say it. So that's a really important point. When people say things, we can only be in control of the way we say things and sometimes when people feel hurt they say things in a way to make other people feel hurt sometimes they do it on purpose sometimes they don't do it on purpose but we can only control how we feel and what we do oh, watch out with the jingling Ange. Okay. Um, we can only control how we feel and what we do so if people say mean things or say th- something that comes across that mean, feel bad. there's nothing that we can do about it, but we can, if we all take control over our words, and when we want to say something, we say it in a way that lifts other people up, that's encouraging. We choose the tone appropriately. Right, Pavlos? Right, yeah. Pavlos? Yeah. Then we can make sure that some that our words don't accidentally come out the wrong way. So if you want to tell someone that you like their shoes and you really like their shoes, you say, Hey, I like your shoes. Right. You don't, you don't just say nice shoes because that doesn't make them feel important. And that also doesn't make them feel like you really do like their shoes. All right, Ange, like we said, this is going to be a short post because a short post, short podcast, because we've got a very specific thing to talk about. So I would encourage everybody here to start practicing, practice at home. Practice with people like Angela and I just did to talk about some of the different ways that we can use our voice to say it different ways. So that way we practice on how to say things in an encouraging way. All right. So Angela, don't forget to pick up five minutes with dad.com slash puppy puzzle. Angela. Thank you for listening to five minutes with dad. Yeah. To connect with Pablos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com. Thank you for listening.